this two-year-old girl playing with her toys and hanging out with her mom is very rare. She is one of about 70 children in the United States and one of 300 ever diagnosed in the entire world with cocaine syndrome. Cocaine syndrome is a rare genetic disorder and Julianne Tompkins was diagnosed earlier this summer in Philadelphia. The doctor who diagnosed her was Dr. Eric Marsh. The doctor took one look at her and said, you know, excused himself. About a half hour later, he walked back in the room. Um, they didn't know if they should tell us what they were testing her for. And uh, the first one they test her for was cocaine syndrome, right? right? But he was right. You know, he, he actually said he, um, he only saw in his residency um, two children with this. Uh, mm -hmm. But it was, like, that was type 2. So usually type 2, you know, right at birth. You know that there's something, something that's not right, with, you know, with them. Um, but she, she matched it. She, uh, she, she matched the description, the, the fair skin, um, the slanted, like slanted eyes, the, the pointed nose, um, the small head. Um, what else? Um, the de developmental delays that she's had. It finally ended her mother's search to figure out why Julianne was so special. I, I was relieved when I got the diagnosis because I could s stop my search. But, it's, you know, it's it's not what we want, we want, but at least we know how to not treat it because there's no cure right now. I mean, there's currently no cure. Um, but they're trying to find drugs to either stop the progression or, um, okay, let's sit down. um to either stop the progression or slow down it, but <clears throat> that's years to come. Since no one knows a lot about cocaine syndrome, it's, um, they don't receive barely any money for research. Christina Tompkins, Julianne's mother, knew she wasn't a typical baby. I always thought there was something wrong with mm -hmm. her. Um, she never moved inside, inside of me. The first time I saw her, or just the first time she came out, I, I knew. You know, I just, the first thing I said was check on the baby because I know there's something wrong. It's, I think it was just the mother's instinct. There are three varieties of cocaine syndrome, and currently there is no cure. Julian has type 1, which means that her age range is 10 to 20 years, and she is relatively high functioning. And what all children are, um, they meet their, um, they're almost like on a trajectory scale, and um, you go up on the trajectory scale, and then you almost like you just stay there for a couple years, and then all of a sudden it's a progressive disease, so you start like, she'll start forgetting things, um, she'll start um, forgetting how to walk. If she does talk, um, she'll forget how to talk. At two years old, Julianne has already had three surgeries. Two on her skull and one to correct her vision. Her life will be a struggle, but also a mystery for her parents, Christina and Brent. They are not sure how Julianne will learn, if she will ever talk or walk without help. You know, not knowing when to, when if she's going to walk or going to talk. Um, Right. Julianne and her parents take trips to Philadelphia three to four times a month. They both work full-time to support Julianne and her healthy brother, Dustin. Christina's cousin, Zach Lee, helped to organize a breakfast fundraiser to raise money for the family's travel expenses and also medical bills. When I found out that her daughter had a cocaine syndrome, I just felt that I needed to help in any way possible. It feels wonderful to help somebody that that needs it more than I do. Christina's sister says that Julianne holds a special place in her heart. I'm um, Candace Popham from Drums. Wonderful. It is wonderful. It's so nice that all our family and friends are getting together to help support the family. It's, it's a sad thing, but to see all the support we have helps out a lot. It is the only girl. Um, I have three boys. My sister has a son. My brother has two sons. And this is our only little girl. And to spoil her a little bit more, so be it. The fundraiser was held on December 3rd, but if you would like to donate or help out at one of the cocaine syndrome events, contact Christina Tompkins through Facebook. This is Jackie Lucas reporting for timesleader.com.